Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today I'm here to answer a question from one of my subscribers. Although I have already answered the question in the chat, I feel that many of you may have the same question, or may have this question one day. So that's why I'm doing this video. I've done many videos on the second generation NX and a lot of how do's. And this also applies to the fifth generation because both systems seem to be very similar. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll see if I can answer you or not. So let's get to the question. So how do you actually lock your vehicle if you have your car started? So right now you can see on the infotainment screen, I have Apple CarPlay running. The car is actually started because it's a plug-in hybrid. You don't hear the engine, but essentially you can see that it, it is actually started. So I'm going to close the door. Lots of beeps. So even if I go here and lock, say lock, it won't do anything. The reason is it knows the car started and it will not lock the door. So the only way that I'm aware of is to go and pry open this piece. Once you pry this open, you can actually use the physical key and actually lock the door. So I'm not going to use a credit card as they always demoed but I'm just going to use the pry tool to open it up and let you see what it looks like. So I'm going to move the camera over so you can see. Okay. So what you need to do is find a tool or use your credit card and pry it open. So now you see that this piece is now pried open. I always find it's a little bit harder. So I typically would actually go and pry this top part a little bit and then also do the same in the bottom. And then you need to give it a little bit of force. Okay, so what, you, what it really is, is you have to slide it over here so that it can actually get off that little thing. Because if you see here, it's a bit slanted and when you pull, you pull it out this way. Okay, so now you see that I have the keyhole. So now what you need to do is you need to go here, push open this, and get the physical key. Once you have the physical key, you put it in, you rotate it counterclockwise. Now, it is locked. Even if I go to the back door, it is locked. And if you look closely, the vehicle is still started. So that's the way to lock the vehicle while your car is still running. So in order to unlock it, so even if I went with my key fob, and press unlock, it doesn't do anything. Because you've locked it with a mechanical key, you have to unlock it with a mechanical key. So you do the same thing, but now you rotate it clockwise. One time, unlocks the driver door. Two time, unlocks all doors. Okay. So now you can see the door is now open. So now once you're done with that, you have to take this piece and put it back in. So how do you put it back in? You make sure this piece goes into the hole. Once, you, once it's fit in the hole, you press the side and it's in. It's all in one piece. So one thing I'm not too pleased with this piece is that you need to pry it open. There's a lot of work to actually get it open. Why couldn't they just make it so that when you lever 
open it, it stays there. You cannot get it out. So that it's an easy access rather than having to ply this open. If people would really like to, they can pry it, take it away, and now you're having an exposed keyhole. And now you have to find the part number. I don't know what the part number is. It. I'll probably do some research to see what is the part number for that piece. So after looking for an hour trying to find that door cover, I finally found that door handle cover. And if I go to full, full size here, you can see that this is the door handle. And this piece is the piece that is the door cover. So when I click on here, it will scroll down. And now you can see that it's about $5.89 US dollars at parts.lexus.com. And it does say this is the MSRP. And keep in mind, this is US dollars. So for the Canadian folks, this is going to be a little bit higher, probably around $7 plus tax. And hopefully that we don't lose these parts uh, from kids just prying it off or whatever. But so it's important that you actually get the part number for the color of your vehicle because you don't want a piece. Like I don't want a cadmium orange with a, let's say, ultrasonic blue cover, right? So here we have it. We have a bunch of colors here. And the color here is white nova is actually not a North American color. This is actually a naming that's used in Europe and in Australia. That's my understanding. And probably other places in the world too. So it's critical to look at the color code. So we do have a color code here. So this one is 083, which is ultra white in North America. And if we look at down here, we have this 8Y6, which is Grecian water. We have 223, which is caviar. We have 3T2, which is red line red. And then we have a 4Y1, which is cadmium orange. We have 6X4, which is nori green. We have 8X1, which is ultrasonic blue mica 2.0. We have 085, which is eminent white pearl. We have 1J7, which is sonic titanium metallic. We have 1L1, which is cloudburst gray. And we have 212, which is black obsidian. So you can see all of them cost the same. There's no extra price for the premium colors, which is good. And you can see that the part numbers are different by color. So if I go into the cadmium orange one, you can see that this is the part number for the cadmium orange. I will actually copy all these part numbers and put it in the description below just in case you actually need it one day. All right, so it does say it fits the NX and it's confirmed that it fits my vehicle. So then if you if I go down here, let's see what else it says. So if you expand this, it would say that it fits the North American built, the Canada built NXs, the Japan made for all the premium F Sport and base. So it's essentially will work for any NX with the correct colors. Hopefully this is helpful for you and hopefully you would not need to know this handle cover part number because you never know. Sometimes there are some, some people who just like to pry things off people's cars. Hopefully that is not a trend for the new NX and probably the new RX too. So there we have it. Hopefully this answers the, the question. And um, if you have any more questions, feel free to uh, contact me and hopefully I will be able to answer the question for you. Cheers and peace out. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.